Hi everyone, just a special sports edition tonight with how you can learn different things from uh, sports activities, from life lessons within regards to it. It's very interesting, only about 85 days ago, not so long ago, it was, uh, there was going to be a project done by a football team in England, which has massive, massive aspirations, multi, multi-million uh, dollar aspirations, where it's, they're in this, playing in the second tier of the British Football League, and the plans was to get the team to the top level of uh, the English League, so they, they actually invested on a very, very high-profile football player named, someone with the name Wayne Rooney, who has no managerial real experience whatsoever, was not uh, seen as someone good whatsoever, probably not a good appointment, but has got multi-millions of uh, appointments. They should have ha- hired me because I just scored a really good header, a really good goal. So what's interesting, friends, he had a few different jobs with very uh, minor teams, didn't really achieve anything whatsoever, actually wasn't good at all. But as part of this project, about 85 days ago or something, they fired a really good uh, coach who was uh, previously, and they were doing very, very well. They were in a place where they could have got promoted to potentially to become the Premier League, and that would be, uh, they'd rake in millions and millions of pounds. This will be, this will be, uh, let's say the equivalent of about 500 million shekels or something. However, they appointed this man with tens of millions of Twitter followers, and he was one of the greatest football players also from England in his career but as a manager he was he was seen as very very weak not really someone that could get a any sort of decent job let alone a, a top job so they hired him on the fact that he was someone famous afterwards and lo and behold 80 days later or something just slightly more longer he's fired he it was a disaster he lost most nearly most of his games he was absolutely terrible people were booing him and everything else and uh, he gets fired and stuff like that and not on top of the things, they're just close to being on the bottom of the table now where instead of them getting promoted and they're getting, let's say, a windfall of 100 million plus pounds, they now stand to get relegated and lose a lot more money. So this, this uh, deal which they brought, tried to bring him in, it swings about two, 300 million pounds potentially the other way also. That's how much of a disaster it is. But it got me interesting. There's some lessons we can learn from this just within regards to life over here. You can see there's someone like, so, so he, he was a very, very good player when he was actually playing. But when it comes to uh, managing, we could see what a disaster it really is and everything else. He didn't get the job, this lucrative potential job, because he was a good manager. It was all based on his previous, uh, let's say, before he was a manager, when he was playing. He was so gifted when he was playing. They based everything on that thinking that he was great. And at the same time, it was absolute disaster. Probably someone actually said inside the news, this could have been the worst ever appointment ever in the history of uh, this football tier. That's how bad it actually was. But it's lessons, you know, well, few lessons we can actually learn from this. You know, he has the opportunity here. Someone, uh, there's two lessons that can be learned. He was given this job on his pre- previous experiences of how he played. So straight away, a great player will automatically get uh, an extra entrance, a much great entrance into the next field because of their experiences. And we know that in life, you know, if someone has, has achieved very much in uh, something in uh, something vastly, they automatically will open doors in other places which people will not get over there. That's just a general rule in every department. If someone is successful, they can actually open doors to many different things where they can also have the potential to be great. Not necessarily they will be great, but it opens doors potentially to it. But at the same time, when you are in that door, it's all that life experience and everything else. Sometimes you're inside there at the time. You've got the opportunity over there. You've got to make the most of it. You've got to make sure it works over here. You've got to do everything you can. And over here, he couldn't. You know, it was uh, just uh, obviously he wasn't gifted in all, all that thing. It was a disaster at the end, in, fact, in, in actual fact, over here. And th- this is a lesson in life. You know, we strive to be great. You can be really, really good at one thing. It will open doors to other things. That's the greatness of uh, achieving something so uh, magnanimous, let's just say, in someone's career, whatever it might be. And, and you will get the opportunities to do something else. But the lesson from this is that you've got to take your chance and get it correct with all of that. And not necessarily you've got the guaranteed results. You can have someone 
say we're talking in a manager's field over here, someone that was a terrible, terrible player that couldn't uh, achieve hardly anything as a player. He's rock bottom, but he could become in, end up becoming the top coach at the end, the top, the greatest of his things. He has to work his... But what's interesting is we actually see a life principle over here. This person that can actually become the great coach, he is... He has to climb his way up all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top. He's got to prove himself. So sometimes when someone's given that challenge where they've got to prove themselves in anything in life, you know, work hard, work this, work that, learn the ropes and everything else, then they can achieve greatness. But if someone's been handed it on a, on a silver plate, I mean, like this foot, uh, ex-football player, Wayne Rooney, he got the lucrative deal, it was on a plate for him. He automatically failed straight to, it's a disaster straight away because he didn't work it. He didn't earn to how to coach, how to, how to train the other people and everything else to get into that great position. He, he was basically, uh, he was handed in the silver plate. And that, that's a lesson in life also. You can have someone that's, you've got a multi, multi-million, uh, you're coming from a multi-million pound dollar family with a top, top job. And automatically the kid, he leaves college or yeshiva, whatever age it is, or he doesn't even go. He goes from high school at 18 and he wants to join the family business, the top business over here. It's on a silver plate straight away. He knows he's going to get the job. He's there, everything else. He didn't work for it. He got it at the end. And he might not necessarily be so great. But then there's someone that's 16, 18. He's went to university. He's done all these things. He uh, speaks to people. He learns the ropes. He, uh, he uh, maneuvers the whole time. He works hard and stuff like that. Slowly, slowly but surely, these people at the end end up with the top positions and they end up becoming the greatest because it was nurtured. It wasn't on a silver plate. And we see that in life, you know, how does someone become really, really great at the end of the day? It's through toiling. It's through hard work at the end. Why was it that Joshua, we see inside the Torah, he became uh, the leader after Moshe Rabbeinu? Why wasn't the sons of Moshe Rabbeinu? Moshe Rabbeinu's sons, they were destined to get it. They, 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 they were grown up. They, it's their position. No, but Joshua was... By Moshe's side, we learned the whole time in the Midbar. He was working for him the whole time. He stood uh, while Moshe Rabbeinu went to heavenly realms three times. It was Joshua that was there at the end on the three times of the 40 spells. He, st- he, 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 he was with him. He was loyal the whole time, every single second at the end, and he got the reward. That's why the book of Joshua is called Joshua in the next sefer after Bezot Abracha, Parshat Bezot Abracha over there, because he was there the whole time. And that's this lesson over here, this football player, great football player. He got his opportunity over here. He failed miserably because it was on a plate to him. He couldn't work for it. And sometimes the biggest blessing is when you work for something hard. You work, you do this, you do that, you do all these different things. And that's how greatness is achieved. So you can learn something from any topic over here. I found this very, very fascinating because he had the opportunity here. That the multi-millionaires came in. He was given the dream contract there just based on his uh, his expertise as being a good football player as opposed to knowing how to coach and everything else and failed miserably because it was uh, you know it, it, it wasn't natural to him he wasn't able to work and so that and that's a lesson in life we can apply this for so hopefully you're all having a good day uh, let's hope we'll all any topic any of us want to become great in we have got to seize the opportunity we've got to work hard at the end of the day it's not good if things are handed on a silver plate if it is handed on that silver plate at the end you've got to make sure you take that opportunity guys have an awesome day take care please watch over all the videos you know and uh enjoy and take it easy have a great night